So this is question number 21, 2013 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, uh, Part A. Complete the table below giving the values correct to one decimal place and you'll get two marks. So here we have given a row uh, representing x degrees from 0 up to 240. Uh, here we have a function uh, 2 sin x, 2 sin into bracket x plus 20 degrees. So you are given the values, uh, some values, uh, and we have root 3 cos x, and we have some values. Uh, so you are supposed to complete this. So what you do here is you just take your calculator, as uh, this value here is missing, so you just put uh, 2, uh, the sign, uh, since the value of x is 20, 40 here, so 40 plus 20 is 60. So you sign, you say it is 2 sine 60 and you will be able to get uh, 1.7. So here we have uh, 1.7. And that is to one decimal place as indicated. We come to this value. Uh, here we are supposed to say to put root 3 cos 80 because x is 80. So you say root 3 uh, cos 80. And when you do that, you will be able to get 0 0.3 uh, to one decimal place. Here, you say 2 sine uh, 140, so that is 120 plus uh, 20. So you write 2 sine 140, and that should give you 1.3 to one decimal place. Uh, here, you are supposed to write uh, to get uh, root uh, 3, uh, root 3, the cosine of 160, 160. Uh, that should give you, uh, you'll be able to get to minus 1.6 to one decimal place 2. And here you have 200, so it is 200 plus 20 is 220. So it is 2, uh, the, the sign of 220, and that should give you minus 1.3, uh, 1.3 to one decimal place. Finally, you get root 3, uh, the cosine of uh, 240. So we have uh, root 3, the cosine of 240, and that should give you uh, minus, uh, that is, uh, let's, uh, let's do it again, the, uh, uh, root 3, uh, cosine of one, uh, 240, uh, 240, and that should give you uh, minus 0 0.9 to one decimal place. So with the help of a calculator, you should be able to fill this table easily. Uh, part B of the question, on the grid provided, using the same scale and axis, draw the graph of y is equals to 2 sine x plus 20 and y is equals to the root of uh, cos x, three, root 3 cos x for the range x is greater or equals to 0, x is less than or equals to 140. And here you get 5 marks. So let's go to, let's do that on a grid in another page so that we will be, because here we don't have enough space. So this is the grid that I'm going to use to plot the two graphs. Actually here we should have y is equals to, y is equals to. So the highest value of y is 1.7 in the first one and lowest is minus 2. The other one is the highest is 1.7, the lowest is 1 minus 1.6. So on the grid, we can say if that uh, we take that as our starting point uh, we put this is one and this is two and we say this is our y-axis uh, on the other side we have minus one and we have minus two uh, the y-axis we can say the x-axis you can say 40 uh, from 0 to 240 this is 80 uh, this is 120 uh, this is a uh, uh, this is uh, uh, 120, we have 160, uh, 160, uh, we have uh, 200, uh, we have uh, 240. Always plan your scale, these are degrees, always plan your scale uh, to maximize uh, the use of uh, the space. Uh, and that is the one that will be enable you to get correct values. So this is the value of x. Now we start with the first one. When x is 0, y is 1.7. So the 1.7, this is 
uh, 1.7 is that point let's use uh, 1.7 is there you can use a dot or uh, you can use an x like that whichever you find convenient i'm going to use dots uh, when x is uh, 40 y is 1 point i think here we are when x is 0 y is 1 0 0.7 so that's where we have 0 0.7 when x is 40 it is when x is 1.7 when x is 80 x is y is 2 when x is uh, 120 y is 1.3 1.3 is there when x is 160 y is 0 there uh, when x is uh, 200 y is minus 1.3 minus 1.3 should be there when x is 240 uh, when x is a uh, when x is a uh, uh, 240 you get a y is minus 2 so we join these points to come up with a graph uh, use your free hand and make your graph as smooth as possible so this is a graph you should come up with something similar to this or better than this and this is a graph of y is equals to uh, to the sign of x plus 20 uh, these are degrees so the other one is we brought the graph of the other one so when x is 0 y is 1.7 y is 1.7 y uh, x 1.7 so 1.7 should be uh, there when x is uh, 40 uh, y is 1.3 40 1.3 should be there when x is 80 uh, x is uh, y is 0 0.3 when x is uh, 120 y is minus 0 0.9 uh, which is there when x is uh, 160 y is minus 1.6 uh, there when x is 200 uh, y is the same as 1.6 again and when x is uh, 240 y is minus 0 0.9 minus 0 0.9 so you join these points using your free hand to come up with the graph uh, of the function y is equals to the root of cos x so let's do that so this is a graph that uh, you come up with or something better than this uh, this is a graph of y is equals to uh, root 3 the cosine of x so that's a graph uh, so with that now uh, we should be able to answer the next question uh, you are asked in this question so let's see what we are required to do so going back to the question we are told uh, use a graph drawn in B above to determine the values of X for which uh, 2 sin 2 sin X plus 20 is equals to the root 3 cos X and you get two marks going back to the question we are told Roman number two what's the difference in amplitude of y is equals to sine x plus 20 and y is equals to the root of cos x uh, so we need to go to the graph uh, to go back to the graph or that we have graphs that we have drawn so that we get the solution of this so let's do that we are supposed to get the difference in amplitude of y is equals to 2 sine x plus x plus 20 and y is equals to root 3 cos x you get one max so the amplitude is the maximum uh, height uh, the, the maximum in term, uh, from the x-axis the maximum height uh, so we can say the maximum height here of the first one is 2 uh, you minus the other one you can either use this part but you take the magnitude or, or you can you can use this one but here it is showing because there is a curve you can get the maximum it is 1.7 1.7 which you get it is 0 0.3 so the difference in amplitude is equals to 3 uh, that is uh, this is the uh, amplitude this is the uh, amplitude from uh, x-axis the ma maximum and the other one is uh, 
is this one uh, this is uh, this is um, the maximum hey uh, the maximum height so this is what we are saying uh, this is 2 and this is 1.7 and therefore the difference is 0 0.3 uh, and there you get one mark so this uh, that's how you do that question uh, it, if you just follow the it's a very easy question if you just follow the process correctly you should be able to score 10 marks i hope you have followed